All right, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, I'm gonna put the two minute timer on. In that two minutes, please make sure your camera is on and tell me how your weekend was. In the two minutes that I'm putting on the screen, please um, make sure your camera is on and let me know how your weekend was. All right, good morning, good morning. Um, I hope everyone's weekend was well. Thank you for Nasty and Nadia for responding. I do see uh, several people with their cameras still off. Please, let's get those on. I don't want you guys losing points for the camera. All right, uh, a couple things to go over, a few announcements before we start. Um, one of which is uh, if you have an incomplete grade, for so quarter one or quarter two, um, you have to submit whatever agreed makeup work um, by March 8th. So that is about two weeks. It's about two weeks, two weeks and some change. So if you agree to do any makeup work with your teacher, uh, make sure you get it in before or by that date. Um, just an FYI, anytime I give you an assignment and you do not have the ability to write on that assignment in Google Classroom, you have to make a copy yourself and then submit the copy, all right? Does that make sense? You open the assignment, make a copy of it, and then submit the copy, all right? If you need help doing that, just let me know. All right, this is what I want everyone to do. Go into Google Classroom, open up the assignment that says class, um, class reflection assignment. Open it up, open it up. Uh, I'll be back in like two seconds. I just need to lay my daughter down. But open up the assignment in Google Classroom that says Class Reflection Assignment. <laughs>
All right, does everyone have it open? I see some people are in it. I only see Nadia's picture at the top. Let me know in the chat if you have it open. Everyone should have it open by now. All right, notice that you are getting great for this, so I expect everyone to uh, complete it. What I would like for you to do is, um, I gave you a homework assignment last week. Um, it was uh, a video called Nothing Funny by Dr. Eric Thomas. And um, what I, I wanted you to do was watch the video and then put two things that you got from the video, all right? So you should have that. Um, what I want you to do is take one of those um, responses and put it in this document. So you're going to put your response here. You can copy and paste it. And just hit enter, then the next person will put their response. Quote. Put it there just like that. So I need everyone to do that. Uh, we're going to do this, uh, let's see, the next five minutes. So it is 10, 14, going on 10, 15. So at 10, 19, 10, 20 ish, um, everyone should have a response on the screen. Or it was the um makeup uh Monday wait what class is it? Let me see. Hold on, let me check something. I think that was the Monday makeup. Yeah, it was the Monday makeup assignment. I posted that in Google Classroom. Period two. Yep, I posted it on Friday. It looks like no one did it. So that's probably why. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I gave out the assignment on Friday. Clearly, none of you guys did it, or you might have missed it. So uh, we're going to come back to this tomorrow. The assignment, um, I need you guys to knock it out by today, and then we'll come back to this tomorrow. All right? Agreed? Thumbs up, thumbs down? It was really thumbs up. Wait, what are we supposed to be doing? So I put a assignment in Google Classroom called Monday Makeup. I put it in there on Friday. We we're supposed to do it over the weekend. Uh, nobody's done it yet. So complete it by today, and then we'll come back to this tomorrow. Because this assignment is based on whether or not you did um, the Monday Makeup assignment that I posted on Friday. So we will come back to this tomorrow. So do the assignment, the Monday Makeup assignment today. Tomorrow we'll come back to this, all right? Or not tomorrow, Wednesday, sorry. What is the purpose of this assignment? It's in Google Classroom. What is the purpose of this, of this assignment? What is the purpose? Uh, it's an encouragement video. So you watch the video, put two responses or two things that you got from the video um, in the assignment. That's pretty much it. And it's to make up for the fact that we didn't have school Monday. So you missed a, a day for a grade. Super easy, Nathaniel. Nothing hard about it. Remember last week we had a day off. Um, and because of that, you missed the opportunity to get a grade. And my Tuesday, Thursday class did not. So I didn't want it to be in uh, imbalanced. So I gave you guys a makeup assignment. That is super easy. You watch a video, put two things you got from the video. All right. Um, we are going to take the next uh, 15 minutes to watch uh, another um, video by Dr. Eric Thomas. Notice I show these videos for the sake of encouragement. All right. Um, I learned something interesting yesterday, um, which is out of, let me see, um, the study that was given was that you have up to 80,000 thoughts per day. And out of those 80,000 thoughts, 60% of them are negative. All right. 
Um, I was watching a video yesterday and he quoted a statistic that said you have 80,000 thoughts per day. And out of those 80,000, 60% of them are negative. So that means that we need to override those negative thoughts with something positive in order to encourage you to become better. So that's the purpose of this video, all right? To encourage you to hear something positive outside of the music you might listen to or whatever programs you might watch, all right? So pay attention to the video and we're gonna do that currently. You're gonna put two things in the chat that you get from the video, two things that stand out to you, all right? Here we go. The very first thing I said to you, I asked you was what? Good, what are you here for? Right, because there's a difference between a man and a woman who, who's living for something versus a man and a woman who's not living for something. Right, so I want you to study. Man, I wish I had the research up here, but there's research that proves that people who have a sense of purpose outlive people who don't have a sense of purpose. I shared this with you before, but if you have a brand new car and you sit that car in the garage for a year, do you know that car is not going to be as effective and as efficient as a car you put on the road? Because a car wasn't designed to do what? Sit. It erodes when it sits. <laughs> you missed what I said. You think by using it, you damage it. No, you're really damaging it by not using it. You let gas just sit in the car for a year, you know what happens? You let oil just sit in the car, you know what happens? But that same oil that's in the car that's moving and running is a different oil. That gas is being used is a different gas. And most of you are not where you want to be, not because you don't have the ability to be there, but you're not doing nothing. And every time you sit and waste and do nothing, you are eroding your success. You are eroding your abilities. You are eroding your gifts. But when you use them, I didn't start doing voiceover work. I didn't start doing videos. I started with a GED program. And in the GED program, I would give kids work. But before I gave them their work, I would do what? I would motivate them. I would mo I'm sorry, I went too far. Before I started motivating kids, I started reading personal development books. And then the books I started reading, I gave to them. And then I started motivating them from the books. And I went from teaching a GD class to coming to Michigan State and doing the advantage. And the advantage is where all my videos blew up. The guru story, that wasn't in a big auditorium like this. I don't know if y'all saw the guru story, but that, wasn't, that was in a normal classroom. We didn't start here with all of y'all. We started with 30, 40 kids, but we started. And by starting, it turned into this. Your problem is you haven't started. Write down right now what you should have started that you didn't start. And remember what I said, don't give me a passive start. Give me an aggressive start. What haven't you started aggressively? Let me hear it real quick. Somebody be honest. What haven't you started aggressively? What have you started, but you haven't started aggressively? Let me hear it. Yes, ma'am. Say it again. Caring. I love it. Caring about everything. Come on, let's just be real. How many of y'all just real? Like, you going through the motions, but like, you ain't really caring about what you're doing. Let me see your hand. Be honest. I love it. Thank you for being transparent. So we need to start with what? You need to care about what you're doing. Put something in it. Put some effort into it. Good. What else? What else have we been passive about? Yes, ma'am. Waking up at 4 a.m. Yeah, most of us have been passive about waking up at 4 a.m. Absolutely. Why 4 a.m.? Mm. Write that down, even if you ain't ready. I need to start my day before I start my day. Some of y'all just waking up and starting the day. It's just hitting you. Actually, let's put three. I want you all to write that one down. You need to start your day before you start your day. A lot of you guys... Um, a lot, probably not all, I'm not making a super general statement, but a lot of you guys I know um, starts your day when you wake up and you wake up probably five minutes before you got to go to class, which is why you feel like school is terrible because you just woke up and I got to roll into class. But if maybe you went to sleep an hour earlier, uh, woke up at seven, you know, was able to brush teeth, wash your face, knock out some jumping jacks, eat breakfast, you might feel a little bit more ready for the school day. No? Is that a, is that a stretch? I don't think so. Um, so everyone put that in the chat. You need to start your day before you start your day. So everyone should have three things. Right now you all have one. Thank you for the three people who put uh, it in the chat, the four people. All right. 
Thank you, Nadia, for your uh, initial response. All right, let's keep it going. You woke up at start before you start your day. Woke up at three twenty-five. Um, all right. Well, hopefully that was for a good reason and not because you know a negative one. But then you know, every day, Smith. Every day, okay. Look at you. Shout out to you. Salute. I wake up at four, and I didn't today. I woke up at four five forty-eight. Still early, but not what I want. Anyway, let's keep moving. You coming right into the day. <laughs> like you right in the day. <laughs> like boom. <laughs> you can you ain't even got time to get ready. I told my wife, I woke up at six o'clock this morning. I stayed up late last night, got up at three, but was like, okay. No, I got up at two something. That's what threw me off. I got up at two something, got up, did my thing, and was like, yo, I don't usually get up to three. This two something. I might be a little too early. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Went back to sleep, got up, it was six. I couldn't do the stuff that I normally do because I had to start to work at seven. So I wasn't even able to like go into my day. I didn't go in with prayer. I didn't work out. I didn't do the stuff that I do. I had to brush my teeth, take a shower. I had to get on the beginning of the call. And then boom, we had the podcast right after two episodes back to back. Then after that, we went out to eat. Then I had to come back and do stuff. My whole day was ruined. My whole day was ruined. You understand what I'm saying? Then, then I messed up, hit a pothole, didn't even see the pothole. Now I got to stand in line at discount tire. I think I'm doing something by getting there at eight. Me and everybody else had the same idea. <laughs> am, I, am I lying, Nikki? I get to eight o'clock in the morning. It's a line all the way. I'm like, everybody got the same idea? We all hit the same pothole? Was that a setup? <laughs> we all right here. I'm talking about, I'm literally like, I'm, I'm at discount tire. It's like a football game. It was about 12 dudes that was discount tire. They all running, get zoom, zoom, zoom. They starting off with like 10 cars. I'm like, it's unbelievable. They standing like, like, we stood in line for about 10 minutes. Nobody even came to us because they was doing tires. I told Carl, I was like, yo, Carl, next lick, we open up a discount tire, bro. <laughs> this joker, they making bread, bro. They getting paid. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's about 40 cars outside. Then me and my wife just want to go pick up our car. I was like, yo, it's 6 o'clock. We got to go get our car. I get there at 6. It's a line inside. And it's cars. They, I said, what time you close? They said, when we finish the last car. I said, what time you going to be finished with my car? They said, about an hour and a half. I'm like, I'm buying a discount tire. <laughs> Y'all busy at 8. In the morning, y'all busy at 6 o'clock at night. I need a discount tire. Somebody getting paid this joint. Good, talk to me. What else are we passively doing? What else are we passively doing? Come on, talk to me. I need two more people to be honest. What's something you're passively doing right now? I'll give you an example of something I'll passively do. Take out the garbage and wash the dishes. I hate doing both of those. Really washing dishes. I passively do it. Um, what is passively washing dishes look like for me? Um, letting them stack up in the sink till they falling out. All right. Um, uh, assertively doing them is as soon as the dish, I get a dish, wash it out, wash it out. Dish in the sink, wash it out. What are you passively doing? Put it in the chat. What is something you are currently passively doing in your life? Is it school? Is it your chores? Is it something personal? Is it sports? Um, put it in the chat. Good, starting a nonprofit. Good. How long have you been thinking about doing it? Thank you for being honest. I Three appreciate Three years now. That. So write down the thing that you said you was going to do that you haven't done yet. Write it down. And what I want you to do is I want you to write it down every day and talk to somebody about it every single day until you get tired of talking about what you said you was going to do. Don't, whatever, listen to me. Do me a favor. This is how life going to try to punk you. Life is going to tell you you've been talking about that too much. Shut up and don't say nothing else about it. My first book, which is still selling on the shelf. The Secret to Success is still selling. Matter of fact, somebody said the other day, this is crazy. There's a young lady who volunteered for us. I'm not lying. I thought she was lying. I don't know if you remember this, Valerie. I thought she was lying. She said, if you go online and try to buy that book, it's $69. I said, what? I'm about to start selling the few we got. <laughs> I said, $69. She said that there are people who are selling that book for $69 because you can't go to a bookstore and grab it. That was the first book I ever wrote. Guess how many years it took me from start to completion to do that book? 10 years. Took me 10 years, but you know what I never stopped doing? I never stopped telling people I was gonna write a book. And my homies would be like, yo, E, you said you was gonna finish that book five years ago. You said you're gonna finish six. All right, so this is what I want you guys to do with the thing that you put in the chat, right? Um, I want you to, let's see, 
I want you to put it somewhere where you can see it every day. And then we're going to come back to it and find out if we can figure out a solution to solve that issue. All right. That thing that you are passive about currently. Six years ago. You said you're going to finish seven years ago. You said you're going to finish eight years ago. And you know what that did? When they kept saying that, that's how I felt when they kept saying that. Got on my nerves. I said, one of these days, I'm going to shut your mouth. One of these days, I'm going to shut. So, so do me a favor. Don't go. You embarrassed about it. You don't want to buy it. Nobody, don't do that. Keep saying you're going to do it so people can hold you accountable. Because one day is going to be the, come on, one day is going to be the, good. One day is going to be the, we lost to Dolly Parton as the number one book and audio book. Audio book still going. Guess what? That, we still getting money every month. We still getting a check every month off the audio book. People love, I be having kids all the time. I don't like to read. Okay, listen to the audio book. They're like, ah, oh, the audio book. It was like a movie. <laughs> we got the creaking on the floor. I'm walking up the stairs. You can hear the creak. The line, you can, Rawr. You can hear when I was homeless, the leaves. I'm, just, I'm, I'm telling y'all, like, that sucker's so sweet, you can hear me wink. <laughs> they got that sucker so I go, wow, you can hear that joker. <laughs> One of the best books, and we're still getting a check from it. But guess what? It took me 10 years. If I would have stopped at eight, we would have never got a check from it. If I would have stopped at nine, I would have never got a check from it. So don't let nobody fool you. Whatever it is you say you're going to do, just keep saying it out loud. Because one of these days, we're going to talk, and you're going to be like, yo, E, can you come speak for the nonprofit? I'm going to be, you finished it? For free. Just get a couple books. You know what I'm saying? Buy a couple books. You give out to the kids. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, so do me a huge favor. Don't stop saying it. How long did it take me to get my first degree? 12 years. How long did it take? 12 years. How long did it take? What's the, what's the, what, what is the year that most people, if they don't get their degree, they stop? What year is the year, because it's not four, but what's the year that if you're working on it and you don't get it, when do most people stop at what year? All right, we're going to watch a few more minutes and then we'll move on. Uh, I just want to point out that, look, the goal and uh, graduating from college is not for you to take 12 years to finish. All right? Especially not a four-year degree. 12 years, you should have a PhD. However, the point that he's making is that he did not quit. He wanted it and he didn't quit. So it took him three, literally three times as long that it should have taken to finish, but he was so determined, despite whatever reason it caused him to take that long, to actually complete it. So what is something you want really bad um, that you're willing to put in the time and the effort to get? A lot of you guys are still young. You have your full life ahead of you, all right? Um, so now is the time to start thinking about, hey, what do I want to do with my life? How can I get there? What do I need to do right now? Do I need to do better in school? If so, what's stopping me? How can I get help? These are all things I want you to think about, all right? And phys ed class is one of those ways you can apply it by making sure your camera's on, working out, pushing yourself, all right? Let's finish. Year six is where most people quit. I went six years after most people quit. Most people quit at six. I went to seven. I was like, yep, I'm going to finish this joker. Eight, yeah, we're going to get it finished. Nine, yep, I'm almost there. I'm almost going back to get it finished. The 10th year, I was like, let's go. Oh, and keep in mind, he has his PhD. So he didn't stop at the 12 years. He kept going. So PhD is, uh, I think, four more years on top of that, probably. Then boom, the 12th year I finished. And guess what the beautiful thing is? It does not have on my degree how long it took. You only know because I share it with you. My degree has, you have all the rights and privileges that the person who got, who got sum, magnum cum laude, we got the same privileges and rights. <laughs> now I need you to hear me because some of you be tripping, you be quitting because you ain't as sweet as somebody else or you don't got it going on like them. The person that got magnum cum, cum, summa cum laude, uh, cum laude, whatever the... Summa cum laude, whatever the lotties are. I didn't get none of the lotties, but guess what? I just got a call from one of the, um, one of the, um, I don't know what you call them, but like, it's not the president, but he like the VP was asked, can you come this year, alumni, and we want you to speak. It took me 12 years to finish, but they want me to present. Can you imagine that? It took 12 years for me to finish, and then I finished with like a 267. And they're like, we want you to come back and rap. Matter of fact, we've been using your picture on the 
Eric went here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you probably took me 12. You got my, did you tell me to 12? He's like, no, we'll never say take 12, but we do got your picture up there, though. Can you imagine that? That my, I think my daughter and one of them told me, they was like, Dad, did you know that you wanted to, like, celebrity alums? They got you on the, like, when you go on the page, they got you up there. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that I barely got into that university? That I got in with a GED and I'm on the alum boy? That I'm on the front page when you go to the school, they got ET up in that joint? Don't quit. Don't stop. Tell somebody, keep going. Because what you think might be a, a, a nightmare might actually be a dream come true for you. Does that make sense? So don't quit, don't stop. All right, good. So um, can we put that pick up there? I want to show y'all this. This is my last principle for the night. We're going to open up. Yeah, my, my, my. So I went to go see this this weekend. Y'all know I'll be all on this kind of stuff right here, right? I went to go see Harriet, right? I'm just going to be real. Like, I was geeked that they did the movie because I was like, okay, they usually don't do like, they talk about Harriet, but they don't give her her credit that she deserves. And the reason why I say they don't give her her credit is because, and I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but if you know the story, it ain't a spoiler. <laughs> Right? But the thing that's impressive about Harriet Tubman, she's kind of like Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Like Mayweather, like what was he, 51 and 0? She was like 750 plus 70 is 820. She was 820 and 0. She never lost. When she went to go free slave, she never lost one. So when you watch the movie, they show other, like they got it on the board. You know, at Sunday school, how they be having how many people came to church? <laughs> how many people came to Sunday school? They have it written down. Like, believe it or not, back in her day, it was like the NFL, the NBA. They actually kept a count of, you might call them like, they was like the boss. They called conductors. And it was like, these were the people who didn't nobody know who they were, but these were the people that went back south and tried to bring people north. So it might have been a dude named uh, uh, Harry Smith. And Harry Smith went to go save 10, and he lost three. They got it up there. He attempted 10, he lost three. So you see all the numbers, and all of them had attempts, but they all had losses. Harry was the only one that didn't have no losses. She was like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm 750 and 0. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never lose nobody. Everybody I went to go get, I got them. We came back to the north, right? And so then it was a part of the movie where in her, be in her beginning days, she had to do it, and they covered about 100 miles. Covered about 100 miles. But then they came out with a law that prohibit Philly or Pennsylvania for keeping slaves, who, who, those who were enslaved, and they got their freedom. If you were a master down south, you could come and claim them and bring them back. So then it was like, nope, can't do it in America no more. So they went to Canada. That was an additional 500 miles. None of those boys that could do the 100 boy could do the extra 500, 600. But Harriet did her greatest work when the distance was 600. She actually saved 750 with the longer distance. <laughs> Let's do me very close. I'm about to help you out, though, because we're not. All right, I'm going to stop it there, and I'm going to just present you with something. All right. Every year, I drive yeah. from New Jersey to Virginia. It's about a 374-mile drive, which usually takes me about, uh, let's see, probably takes me about a seven to nine hours. It's supposed to be a six hour trip, but because I make wrong turns sometimes or I need to stop however many times because I have a family, it usually takes about seven to nine hours, all right? That's driving. Did you hear the number that he said that Harriet Tumlin and several other slaves had to travel on foot? No car, no GPS. It went from 100 to about 500 or 600, I believe. So that's double what I was driving on foot in the in the in the rural south in the uh however I don't remember what time period that was. So that's 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 days, that's weeks running away from uh slave owners. The point that I bring that up is they wanted it bad enough. You know what I'm saying? So how can we develop that same tenacity? How can we push ourselves to be better? All right. Find something simple. Can you wake up earlier? Can you go to bed earlier? Um, can you eat more fruit? Can you eat more vegetables? Can you drink more water? Can you study more? Can you stop procrastinating on your homework? Can you participate in phys ed class? Can you turn your camera on? How can you push yourself, all right? 
with that being said, let's move on and get started. Um, uh, I'm going to do attendance and then we'll do a scavenger hunt and then we'll hop into our warm up and our exercise. All right. All right, let's see who we have here. We have Celia, Andrew, Laquan, Daryl, Jones, Nathaniel Ford, Zaire, Dante, Jada, Isaiah, Nadia, uh, Zaquan, Aski, uh, Ms. Parker, Estrada, and Ms. Knight. If your camera is off, please turn it on now. Or please turn it back on. Oh, let's see. Breakfast. Um, All right, here we go. I'm going to share my screen. All right, no being lazy today, all right? Let's get up, let's go find the item. This is like the pre-warm-up warm-up, all right? Here we go. Uh, first item is gonna be three pillows. I see two. All right, Celia has three. Where the rest at? Dante, where them pillows at, big dog? Zaya, I said pillows. Why are you showing me your breakfast? I'm in the kitchen right now. I can't. I'm in the kitchen. Better go get them pillows, man. All right, Zayquan got his. Naski got his. Miss Jones has one pillow. Where the other two at? Angel has four pillows. Laquan got one big one. Nathaniel got his three. Was that two or three? It looked like two. Oh, all right, you got three. Oh, you got the body pillow. Okay. But they ain't being that comfy. Uh, Arianka look like she got her whole mattress. What is that? Oh, that's a pillow. You got the body pillow too. Y'all be chilling. No wonder y'all be sleepy. Y'all be in there snugged up. Jada, I see the pillows. Dante, I see you. You made your uh, little brother go get those or something, didn't you? Um, there we go, Zaire. Big dog. You got the pillows. Yeah, big dog. All right, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> I can see you when you roll your eyes, just so y'all know. All right, come on, four cups. Don't say you got the whole stack of cups. <laughs> Let's see. Celia, get out that bed and get them cups. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing scavenging hunt. You the reason why I, I forgot that I was doing it. Stop doing it and you was missing. You want me to always do the kitchen and then I gotta stand on the stool to get the cups? That's all I do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, Laquan, I see you with the Black History Cups. You representing. Uh, Jada, I see you. Yeah. I got you cup. He got cups on cups. Angel got four cups. Don't drop any of them, Angel. There we go, Nathaniel with the cups. Got the plastic. Got you, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Nadia with the cups. I see you. My little brother got that same blue cup. My little brother, I'm bugging. My son. What am I talking about? I just said little brother to Dante. I Okay, okay. Give me a second. Uh, Arianka, I see you. Jada, I okay. Can I have a cup, please? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Favorite cup, so I get it. Get it. You got energy now. How do you got that cup of sweet tea? 
All right, let's move on to the last one. Don't drink all of it. Your stomach gonna hurt. About to start working out. All right, last one. Two hats. Oh, and she got fruit. Mom, make sure you see the whole thing. All right, Dante, I see you with the two hats. Nice hat, by the way, sir. Representing. All right, Peter George Floyd. I brought that up because uh, Dante had, I can't I can't find the other two. I can't find them, but I got this one. Yeah, all right. All right. Lisa went up and got it. Uh, Nathaniel, I see you. Uh, Jada with the polo hat. I think I got that same hat. Hats on hats on hats. Got you. The Quan has one on his head. All right. Good stuff. All right. Let's, not, let's jump into this warm-up. So everyone stand up. All right, so we gonna bump it up. So last last week we did seven minute warm up. Today we're gonna do eight. Eight minute warm up, all right? Eight minute warm up. And look, just so you guys know, all right? I'm pushing myself as well, so real quick. I wasn't going to, um, I started working out, right? So push-ups and all of that adds. I was like, I don't know if I could do the running thing, right? So my friends was like in the group chat, they were like, let's do the Nike running club thing where we run and track you on the app and then it sends you to see who can run the most. All right, whatever, I'm going to do it. So today I'm going to start jogging, all right? So I'm pushing myself. This is why I'm pushing you guys, all right? One minute extra ain't going to hurt me. All right, here we go. It starts at uh, starts at 13 minutes, so that means we will end pretty much at the end of, at the, end of the video. 21. Yeah, sure. That's the best time to work out, Dante. Okay. When you sore, that's when you work out. It makes the soreness go away quicker. I'm not lying. I promise. I push through it, and I bet you by the end of the workout, you won't be sore anymore. And then we'll uh, take a cold shower later. It'll loosen your muscles up. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? All right, here we go. Five, six, three, two, one.
All right, we're gonna stop it right there. If you're standing up, please keep standing up. Excellent job so far. Let's finish out strong with the last part. All right. So remember, we've been doing the uh, punching combos. Um, we left off at, um, I think it was one one body punch. All right. So we're gonna start with this one. This is one one two body punch again. All right. As always, what I want you to do is mirror what he does, follow along. Um, make sure you're in your right stance so everybody get into your staggered stance. Zaire, let's finish up, big dog. Get in your staggered stance. Arianka, good job. And make sure your guard is up. Nathan, Nathaniel, good job. All right, here we go. I'm going to show it, so I want you to watch first, and then um, I'll rewind it, and then you can do it. All right, here we go. Just watch first. Oh, that's on mute. Sorry. Left hook to the head or the number three. That's a double jab, cross body, hook head. <laughs> All right, so it's jab, jab, cross, and then a hook, okay? Jab, jab, cross, hook. All right, so say it to yourself real quick before I start again. Jab, jab, cross, hook. All right, I'll do it for you. Jab, jab, cross, hook. All right, notice that he squat down just a little bit when he threw the hook. All right, and anytime you throw a punch, you bring your hands right back to your face to protect your face, to protect your head. All right, here we go. The next combination is a one, one, two body, left hook to the head or the number three. That's a double jab, cross body, hook head. <laughs> the next combination is a two, one or a cross jab. All right, let's do that again. Uh, Nathaniel, good job. I didn't catch on it. That's all right. We're going to do it a few times. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, remember, all right, watch, watch my screen before you start. So, so you got your, remember you have your lead hand when you got your guard up. All right, your lead hand is what you throw a jab with. So it's jab, jab, cross, cross because it comes across your body. All right. Jab is straight. So throw a jab, jab. Jab, cross, and then hook, all right? That's how you throw a hook, all right? You got to lean into it. So hook, not lean, like lean your head, just kind of like put your body into it. Because if you're just throwing it with your arm, you're not doing nothing to anybody. You might hurt their nose, that's it, all right? So let's try it again. Nobody's watching you. Please don't be embarrassed, all right? The only person that's looking at your screen, and I'm looking at several other screens, is me. All right, here we go. Ready? Jab, jab, cross, hook. All right, let's try it again. Keep your hands up. Some of you are punching down, like you're punching your little brother in the head. I know you're probably used to that, but we're not, we're not doing that today. All right, here we go. Keep them up. Pretend th the day that I was getting on your nerves, all right, in school, and you, you, you imagine yourself trying to hit me, all right? We're going to pretend Mr. Smith getting on the nerves. Don't ever try it in real life. Is, is, then we're going to have problems. Anyway, let's go. Ready? Jab, jab, cross, hook. All right? All right, let's do it one more time to the video. Here we go. Number three. That's a double jab, cross body, hook head. <laughs> but at your own pace. You don't do it after you put it the same pace that he's doing. Rewind it again. That's a double jab. I want you to get your pace and keep your hands up. A lot. Of, what I see is a lot of you doing it. You throw the punch and then your hands end up down here. All right, you got to keep your hands up. So when you throw a punch, it comes right back. Throw a punch right back. Throw a punch right back. All right. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Cross body, hook head. <laughs> Better, so we are better. 
Better not even kick your hands Next up. combination is a two one. That is Andrew. All right, one more. One more, and we are finito. All right, here we go. Last one, last one, last one. Left hook to the head or the number three. That's a double jab, cross body, hook head. Come on, let me see. Everybody doing it. Everybody doing it. Come on. The next combination is a 2 1 or a cross. Daniel, excellent job. Right, I'm going to stop sharing. All right, before we go, let me know how was that in the chat? Was it difficult for you? Was it awkward? Um, is there anything you would change? Let me know in the chat. It was fun. Thank you, Parker. Nobody's watching you, Angel, I promise. Everyone's standing up doing a workout. All right. Good, good, good. Glad to hear that. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Now, right, let me get a response from everybody, then we can go. Why not? What are you talking about? Yes, you are. You'll be fine. You did good today. What you talking about? Too much, man. I was mad. Too much. Like, it was too much. Come on. I don't want you to be get old and you be all balled up because you don't like to do anything. Come on. You be all, eh, you gotta, you gotta move the muscles when you're young. All right, no, good job today, guys. Um, have a good day. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Adios.